you want to show your students how to solve a problem or you're simply trying to literally draw their attention onto parts of a presentation, you're going to need a pen of some kind and maybe a little bit of hardware. In this video, I'm going to show you four different ways for Mac users how to be able to draw in, in a way that you would have done normally on a whiteboard and now you can do it with your computer. There's going to be multiple sections to this video, multiple options, so feel free to jump around to the part that's most relevant to you. But we're going to start with something really simple, which is paper and pen. Just put that down on your desk somewhere. Use a pen that's thick so that it's easy for the students to see. Put your phone onto some kind of stand or mini tripod or lean it against something so that it can essentially see the paper when you turn on your camera. Turn on the camera, go from what's normally photo mode into video mode, adjust the paper as necessary, and hit record. Now from here, just work out and talk out the thing that you normally would do. The good news is, is that your phone usually has a pretty darn good microphone associated with it. When you're done working out your equation, uh, go ahead and hit stop and then you'll go and take a look at the video. You can preview it if you need to, but there is in the middle of the screen an up arrow that will give you a next option and then we'll go to airdrop. Airdrop is going to allow you to select your laptop and then to send that over to the downloads folder on your Mac where you can take it from there and put it into Camtasia. Coming up a little bit later, I'll show you how to edit that video. But for now, congrats. We at least got our first recording done of camera and of drawing. Just didn't happen to be drawn on the screen on this one. If you have a webcam, you can use it to record yourself working out an equation on pencil and paper, or if I may, a really big, thick pen and some paper. You just might need to either have a webcam that you can rotate and move around or have it on a stand or a little tripod. But if I've got mine here on, a, on the back of my computer, I can simply turn it downwards. And now using Camtasia, I can record my webcam and my audio. I don't need to record the screen. And I can work out my equation. If A equals 6 and B equals 7 and C equals 8, then I can, and I can work it out, right? When I'm done, I drag the recording to the timeline. And you'll probably need to rotate the video and, and possibly scale it up, but we'll get into the editing in just a bit. If you have one of the new iPads and the Apple Pencil, you can make your presentations really come to life for your students. You can help them stay, pay attention better, stay focused, and uh, you can draw on your iPad like you could uh, a whiteboard. So let's start with a simple calculation first. You'll need a drawing program to start. There are a lot of good ones out there. For this purpose, I'm going to use OneNote, and it's a, it's a free program. It works just great. We're going to want to record what we're doing in this program here. So first thing is connect the iPad to the Mac. It may ask you on the Mac, do you trust this iPad? And on the iPad, do you trust this Mac? And once you make that happy union, you should be good to go. Uh, because then from within Camtasia, you can go to the recorder and say, you know, I don't really need to record my screen, but ooh, I would like to record my iPad. Now, that would be kind of cool. Uh, you won't need your webcam for this, uh, but I would suggest that you record the very best audio source that you have. If uh, that option is your MacBook Pro microphone, Microphone, great if you've got a USB microphone even better so I'll choose that I'm gonna hit uh, to start recording last thing I want to tell you before we start recording is just relax uh, we can edit things out take a big deep breath and uh, and then we'll begin all right folks let's work out the Pythagorean theorem right um, a 
Oops, hold on. There we go. And now we're getting into the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And of course, that is important when you're working out a 90 degree uh, triangle here. And you've got A and you've got B and you've got C being the hypotenuse. Now I could, now I could keep going with that, but for our purposes, I could either stop my recording here or as I want to do, I actually would like to show you guys uh, PowerPoint here. So let's go into PowerPoint and I've just got a handful of slides here. This one happens to be out uh, 3D modeling. And when I go into uh, presenter mode here, I can go, excuse me, from the slideshow mode, I'm going to go from the start and up at the top. Uh, I've got my pen uh, and this is going to allow me to underscore things as I go. Uh, I can uh, slide forward and back to get to the new slides and in pen mode once again uh, I can uh, circle things that are important. I th one of the things that is really important is if let's say you've got bullet points right on your slide it's fantastic if you can just like hit check marks like yeah done talked about that great underline this point over here circle this point make a connection between points one two and three that kind of thing draws your students in and lets them know what you're talking about the worst thing you could do is say this is really important and they're not seeing you they're not seeing your mouse they're not seeing anything and they don't know what it is that you're talking about which is really important and that feeling is what causes anxiety among the students so let's just use the pen liberally draw underscore highlight as much as you possibly can and uh, the students will be absolutely the better for it now when we are done uh, with this the cool thing is I don't have to do anything on the iPad you go back over to the Mac and on my screen I've got the recorder I hit stop recording it shows up directly inside of Camtasia. It's already here in the preview window, and there's a whole bunch of different ways I can edit it. I'll show you that in just a second, but first, let me show you how to do all this fancy drawing if you don't have a fancy Apple Pen, and we'll do that with a Wacom tablet next. If all you've got is a mouse, and a normal computer, a Mac or a Windows computer, but this is the only thing you have to quote unquote draw with during your presentation, you can still use it to underscore, to sort of highlight or even draw a jaggedy line on something, but it's, it's better than nothing. I did one better. I got a graphics tablet here from Amazon. It was about $50 and it's going to allow me to do some equations. It's also going to allow me to spice up the presentations and really help the students to learn better than if it was just a blank presentation or just kind of a standard presentation. Let's take a look at it. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start a recording and I'll record the full screen. I'll record my microphone. If I've got a USB microphone, then choose that. If not, uh, just use the MacBook Pro microphone, whatever you got, um, choose it. I hit uh, the recording and uh, let's now get into a drawing program. Uh, there are lots of drawing programs. Uh, OneNote is a free application. Uh, the only thing is, for whatever reason, like when I tried to uh, draw out my letters here, um, they don't look great. And I don't have the worst handwriting. So maybe it's just the way this graphics tablet works with OneNote. But uh, all the same, I went to a different one called Sketchbook. And uh, Sketchbook does look significantly better. So now that I've got um, my equation that I'm ready to record I will uh, simply do something like a little clap because that'll put a spike on my timeline which you'll see in a second and now I'll just start my recording for real all right everybody let's take a minute to appreciate the Pythagorean theorem it's got a it's got B it's got C and C is gonna line up right over here now, if what we're saying is A is 4 and B is 3, that means uh, we are saying that we're going to calculate 4 squared plus 3 squared. So that's 16 plus, and I can obviously keep working out that presentation. And it's just like I'm working at the whiteboard. I think it's a great way to be able to explain stuff for 50 bucks. It's not bad. This gets even better, though. 
uh, when you get into a slideshow. So while I could stop the recording, let's say that I've got a, a slide deck that I want to run people through. I'm going to hit play from start. And these tools down here are going to be really helpful for me. I can go through uh, my slides and then I can pull up the pen slide and I'm going to use my pen and here's where I can say now one of the challenging things about doing 3D drawings is that some of the very small details don't always turn out so well when you do it in real life. If you go to the next one, you can find out how important it is to get the details right when you go through the mold process. You can see little elements here that are going to be really hard for you to put through the 3D scanner, etc., etc., etc. All right, it's time to edit this recording. Uh, so I'm going to hit escape here in PowerPoint. It's going to ask me, do I want to keep the annotations? Usually I don't. I'll hit discard. We're going to go over here to the menu up here and stop our recording. It's going to bring it into Camtasia. And now it's time to teach you how to do a little bit of editing inside of Camtasia. All right, let's do a little bit of basic editing inside of Camtasia. As I said at the beginning, it's good to relax, uh, to pause, to not feel stressed when you're making the recordings. So it's possible that these recordings maybe you started without doing or saying anything. And what you can do is you can grab the edge of these recordings and drag them until you start uh, talking and doing your thing. It's also possible that you might have a clap or snapped in the recording and that would create a little spike on the timeline you can just trim right past that and you know uh, pretty much where to start when uh, you then hit the play button you can then hear the talking and the voiceover as you go you can do the same thing here at the end uh, the other thing I would recommend on pretty much any recording that used your that used the Camtasia recorder on your Mac or your PC is to go and change the cursor size. Like right here in this video, it may be a little bit hard to see exactly where you're drawing. Of course, you can see the drawing when it shows up, but where your mouse is right now may be hard to say. So uh, the properties for this recording has audio it has video and audio properties and mouse properties or cursor properties so i usually go and bring that up 200 300 percent make it really big uh, so that it's really obvious what people are doing if you want to go even further you can go into the cursor effects and maybe even like drag a highlight on there so that it's even more obvious uh, you want to get a little bit of bonus points go ahead and choose a color that works for your college or university and uh, you can get some uh, you can get a nice look that goes along with that Okay, so we've uh, trimmed the beginning, we've trimmed the end, we've uh, also created uh, a highlight for the cursor, which is helpful. Some of the other things you might need to do is, let's say that in your recording, uh, you use your phone and it was upside down, not a problem. In the properties here, we'll just rotate that one 180 degrees, and that's good to go. Uh, the other thing you can do with this recording is you can uh, scale it up. Now you can do that by grabbing the corners and uh, growing it that way. Uh, you can also use this uh, slider here and scale it up that way. That can be done for both uh, camera recordings as well as screen recordings. It's possible, for example, in this recording that we did of the iPad, that maybe you really don't need to see all the tools or the students don't need to see the tools up there because you don't use uh, or choose between the pens, which means, frankly, that they will see more and more of your actual screen drawing uh, as you provide more real estate for that. Last thing I'm going to tell you to do is, uh, as a rule of thumb, your project settings sh should probably be 1080p, which is um, a fancy way of saying it's the right size for YouTube and video in general. So if you go that route, uh, then you've got uh, some nice videos on the timeline. Probably don't, if you have multiple recordings, you probably don't want a lot of extra space in there. Best way to get rid of all that space is uh, click on the magnet on that track and it brings it all together and now you're ready to share and uh, just 
my suggestion is go to a local file and it'll give you an mp4 file that'll be properly sized you can put that anywhere you want thank you very much for watching this video and for trying to draw the students attention and to help them to learn as much as absolutely possible from you i hope these uh, tools are helpful and i wish you uh, the best of success thanks a bunch